50 years ago, the Apollo missions launched a new generation of space exploration. Those were named after the Greek god of light, music, and the sun. But what you may not know is in Greek mythology, Apollo had a twin sister, Artemis, the goddess of the moon in these myths, the bringer of light that helps others find their way. Not lost on NASA, the agency saw this as an opportunity. It named its new lunar exploration program after the goddess. Enter the Artemis program. We could spend all day talking about these future moon missions. Astronauts will be doing research on the lunar south pole, and there's the Lunar Gateway, a space station that will be assembled in orbit. But today, we're gonna spend this video talking about something NASA just unveiled this week. Two new spacesuits for the manned Artemis missions that begin in 2022. We are a new channel. Subscribe if you love science like us. And for those regular listeners, I apologize, I do have a bit of a cold. So, no need to keep you waiting any longer. Here are the new spacesuits in action at a press conference in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. The orange suit is the Orion Crew Survival System, or OCSS. This will be worn inside the Orion spacecraft during launch and re-entry, and also in the Lunar Gateway. It's definitely an improvement over last generation's shuttle mission tech. The helmet has an internal comms link to talk to other crew members and mission control while supplying air and removing CO2. And now the gloves are touchscreen compatible. The most comfortable feature, our personal favorite, is probably the long underwear that has liquid cooling tubes sewn into it. Hopefully NASA releases that to the public. Now, probably most important to them, if cabin pressure is lost, the suits keep astronauts alive for up to six days. And in the event of an off-course landing, they come equipped with things like a personal locator beacon, strobe light, knife, and other survival gear. Let us know if you like that suit or the next one better in the comment section. The second suit, well, screams America, and probably for good reason. It has identifiable color markings since other countries like China and Russia are working on their own manned moon projects. Named the XEMU, this one is for wearing outside the spacecraft on the lunar surface. It has a lot of new features. For one, a big danger for anyone walking on the moon is the soil, which is composed of tiny glass-like shards. This new suit has features that prevent inhalation or contamination of the life support system. It can also withstand the extreme temperatures astronauts have to deal with. Minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade and 250 degrees in sunlight. Insert Armageddon reference here. What's also nice is due to advancements in electronic miniaturization, this suit has duplicate systems in the event of failures. And lastly, the suits are much easier to walk in. Astronauts no longer have to bunny hop like they did on the Apollo missions. The new system has joint bearings that allow bending and rotating at the hips and bending at the knees. And in case you were curious, they'll still wear something like a diaper in case their spacewalk is too long to hold it. Anyway, NASA plans to eventually modify this suit to be used in future Mars missions, probably with additional life support and filters for a CO2-rich atmosphere. Artemis will be a testing ground for eventual activity on the Red Planet. We'll get into other countries' plans for the moon next week, so hit the notification bell to keep tabs on that. Share this channel with someone else you know who loves science, and ask anything you want in the comments. If we don't know the answer, we'll find out who does and contact them, or point you to the right resources to learn.